Leela number 16, Divine Manifestations Know who you are, then you will know me. In June 1947, Narsing Rao of Nellore admitted his wife in government hospital at midnight as she had no fetal movements. To make matters worse, she was unable to deliver the stillborn. The doctor removed the baby, but his wife developed a high fever and convulsions for 12 days. The next morning, he was served a notice of dismissal from his temporary post as a clerk in the Revenue Department. He was at his wit's end, as the treatment was expensive and he was unemployed and penniless. His children were small and there was no one to look after them. As usual, he placed his burden on Baba's shoulders and his friends at work paid his hospital bills and the neighbours took the children home and looked after them. On the 13th day, his wife was discharged, but her leg was swollen and painful. Dr. Subramaniam, a friend of Narsing Rao, treated her free of cost and provided the medicines for her. Gradually, she recovered and was able to walk a little. During this period, Narsing Rao chanted Baba's name continuously and sang hymns in praise of him. One morning, he walked out of the house and saw Baba begging for alms. He was in a state of shock for a short while. Narsing Rao then walked up to him and blurted, Sir, may I know who you are? He said this in English and Baba also replied in English, You are a fool. If you know who you are, then you will know who I am. Baba in one sentence taught him the great spiritual truth of Aham Brahmasmi. Then Narsim Rao invited Baba to his home to have food and Baba accepted the invitation, saying, I have come just for that. After Narsim Rao had seated him comfortably, he began to serve him. Baba stopped him from serving and said, I want your wife to serve me. She managed to serve Baba with great difficulty. After having eaten, he rested a short while and Narsing Rao went to the market to buy some fruits for him. Alas, when he returned, Baba had disappeared. But Narsing Rao's wife was restored to perfect health. One day, Narsing Rao's wife was on the way to the market to get a picture framed. Unfortunately, she lost it. Desperately, she searched for it but couldn't find it. She wept bitterly and felt that Baba had left her and some disaster was sure to take place. But no such thing happened. Still weeping, she went to sleep. That night, Baba appeared in her dream and said, Why are you weeping thus? Here, pick any picture of your choice and worship it daily. The very next day, a devotee who had just returned from Shirdi came to her house. He gifted her the very same picture that she had chosen in her dream. They preserved the picture as a precious gift from Baba. After she received the picture, her trouble ceased, both mentally and physically. Her husband secured a permanent job and financially became well off. This Leela was taken from Ambrosia and Shirdi, written by Rama Linga Swami.